Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ellie. Today's video I'm going to talk about my TBR for the Vampire Diaries readathon. I took part in it last year, I believe it was back in September. I completed it and I really enjoyed it. The Vampire Diaries is my favourite TV show, so I can't not take part in a readathon based off it. So there are quite a lot of prompts this year, so whether I stick to this TBR or whether I actually finish it is a whole other thing but I'm just going to talk through all of the prompts and all the books I currently have selected to read but I'm a mood reader so chances are some of these are going to change but I'm planning on vlogging the entire readathon so you'll see what I do end up reading for each of the prompts. This readathon runs throughout the whole month of May. Okay, so there are 15 prompts, so I have 15 books. Each of the prompts are based off a different character from the series. So the first prompt is for Elena Gilbert to read a book that's getting a lot of attention. So for this, I'm going to be reading Consider Me by Becca Mack. I've seen a lot about this book and this series all over the internet and it's just been sitting on the shelves for too long and I've been really wanting to get to it. It is a hockey romance. We follow Carter and Olivia. So Carter is a hockey player and Olivia is a teacher. It seems like it's love at first sight for Carter but Olivia wants to keep him at arm's length and I just have really really high hopes for this. I'm really excited to get to this. The second prompt is for the character of Stefan Salvatore and that is to read a book with dual POV. So for that I'm going to be reading Caught Up by Liz Tom Ford. I have so many anticipated reads on this TBR and I loved Mole High. And I honestly don't know why I've put off continuing this series for so long but this is Kai and Miller. This is a baseball romance I believe so kind of got a sports romance theme going on so far but this story is told from both the male main character and a female main character's point of views so fits the prompt perfect. The third prompt is for the character Damon Salvatore and that is to read a book which gets you excited so for this I've chosen Hopeless by Elsie Silver. It does get me excited but I also have like mixed feelings about this because I've absolutely loved this series by Elsie Silver and I've been putting off reading Hopeless because it's obviously the last one in the series but World Love, her new book has just come out. I have a copy of it so I feel like I can finish this series now a new one is starting. So I'm excited for this because I just have so much high hopes and I'm just I feel like I'm gonna absolutely love this so that's where the excitement comes in but there's also quite a bit of nerves around this and some sadness because I don't want this series to be over. The next prompt is for the character of Bonnie Bennett and that is to read a predicted five star. Now all of the books I've mentioned so far would have fit this prompt but I am gonna go for Love Redesigned by Lauren Asher. I loved the Dreamland Billionaire series. I've also read I can't think of what the series is called but it's the F1 series read that I love that as well so like every single one of her books I think has either been a four or five stars so of course this is going to be a predicted five star the next character is Caroline Forbes and the prompt for that is to read a book with a strong female character and I changed up the book I was going to use for this several times but I've decided on My Dark Romeo by Parker S Huntington and LJ Shen because I believe this is a bully romance it sounds like it's a bully romance so I feel like we're gonna have a strong female main character in this as it does say on the back he thinks I'll accept my fate while I plan to rewrite it so I think we're gonna have a strong heroine who stands up for herself fights for herself and I'm hoping this is going to be the perfect book for this prompt. The next prompt is Matt Donovan, which is to read a book with human characters. So I'm reading Night Shift by Annie Crown. This again is another sports romance. We have a basketball player hero and a heroine who spends all her time in the library. So I feel like I'm going to love this. I feel like I'm going to be able to relate to the main female character and the cover of this is so cute. So the next character is Jeremy Gilbert and the prompt for that is to continue a series. So I'm going to be reading Twisted by Emily McIntyre. This is book four in the Never After series. I think I'm reading them in the right order but these are all like fantasy retellings, dark retellings and I've really enjoyed the series so far so looking forward to continuing it and I think Twisted's the one I've heard the most good things about so I'm really excited. The next character is Tyler Lockwood and the prompt for him is to read a book with a low rating so for that I'm going to be reading The Sun and the Void by Gabriella Romero La Cruz and this necessarily doesn't have a low rating the good reads rating for this is 3.35 and I would say anything under a 3 is low but 
out of all the unread books on my TBR, this is the lowest rated of what I could find. I don't really know too much about this. Honestly, it was a complete cover buy in Waterstones. All I know is it's a fantasy and despite it having a fairly low rating, I have high hopes for it. The next character is Alaric Saltzman and for that you need to read a book that has a historical element and I don't read historical at all so the closest that I could find on my TBR was Anatomy. This I believe is set in 1817 and is a gothic tale full of mystery and romance. The next character is Sheriff Forbes and the prompt for that is to read a book with a mystery in it so I've chosen Belladonna by Adeline Grace. I have been really wanting to get to this, the cover is so pretty. This is about a girl who was orphaned as a child she's been raised by a load of different people and she's living with this family called the Hawthorns and a restless spirit appears and I think she has to find out what happened or who the killer was. The next character is Klaus Michelson and for his prompt you need to read a genre bending book so any book that has two different genres so for that I've chosen a romanticy and I'm going with Iron Flame by Rebecca Yaros. I've been putting this book off for so long and I just need to get to it so I try to fit it within a prompt on this TBR so this is book two the first one is fourth wing which I thought was okay I didn't really get the hype but I bought iron flame and I'm just gonna give it a go I don't have much high expectations for this and if I don't really enjoy it I'm not gonna continue with the series the next character is Rebecca Michelson and the prompt for that is just to read a romance so at the moment I'm going with The Nanny by Lana Ferguson but this may change depending on the mood I'm in. I've heard lots of great things about this. Then we have Elijah Michelson and his prompt is to read a book with a beautiful cover and there are plenty on my shelves that could have fit this prompt so again this may change depending on the mood I'm in when I decide to read this prompt but for the moment I picked up Tempting Little Thief by Megan Brandy. Like I just think this is a really beautiful cover. I feel it fits the prompt perfectly. I think this is like a private school romance. So I don't think it's young adult. I feel it's more new adult. I'm not too sure how old the characters are going to be in this. Then we have Catherine Pierce and the prompt for that is to read a retelling. And potentially if I read Twisted, I might read Crossed by Emily McIntyre for this prompt as that's a retelling. But in case I don't get to that first, I've got Bookish and the Beast by Ashley Poston. This part of a series is Guy Corella, Bookish and the Beast and The Princess and the Fangirl. This is a Beauty and the Beast retelling and the cover's really cute. So again, it's another one that's been on the TBR for a while that I just need to get to. And then the final character is Enzo St. John and the prompt is Second Chance Author. So I'm going with Wild Fire by Hannah Grace. I read Icebreaker when it first came out and I didn't really like it, I honestly didn't really get the hype around it, but a lot of people who didn't really enjoy Icebreaker said Wildfire is better. So my fiance bought me this as part of a Halloween basket he made me last year. So this is definitely a second chance author and I think I'm gonna like it. Okay, so they are all of the prompts and the current selected books for the Vampire Diaries Readathon. As I said, depending on my mood, depending on if I get new books that bump up the TBR, some of these books may change, but that's the plan going in and yeah I'm gonna vlog the whole thing and let me know if you've read any of these what you thought of them I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next week